empowerment of women can be a critical ingredient in building climate resilience. There's an excellent example here from India where uh, the National Rural Livelihoods Programme is supporting women's self-help groups in building their social capital, in, in building their access to microfinance, um, to all sorts of goods and services. This improves their bargaining power. Um, but at the same time, they are able to, to link up to other government programs which are providing guaranteed labour um, in return for wage income and the, 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 the labour is used in building uh, watershed management structures, soil erosion control, uh, measures which are improving resilience at the level of the landscape as well. Where women don't enjoy equal rights, voice and access to opportunities as men, uh, they often uh, are more vulnerable to the effects of natural disasters and climate change. Let me give an example of that from Bangladesh. Bangladesh uh, suffers from exposure to cyclones and the flooding that that brings. Uh, it can be completely devastating. In 1991, women outnumbered men by 14 to 1 uh, among those who died as a result of cyclone-induced flooding. Now, women are acting as powerful agents of change in Bangladesh these days, uh, where women themselves act as community mobilizers getting the message out ahead of a cyclone early walk warning message to other women in the community. It's had a dramatic effect both in reducing the gender differential in, in those who are dying from cyclones, but also just improving cyclone preparedness overall. An important part of what the World Bank does is, is make sure that in the, in the preparation of any project, uh, whether it's about reducing greenhouse gas emissions or mitigating climate change, or about adapting to the consequences of climate change, uh, that we undertake uh, good social analysis, including a gender analysis. In Lagos, uh, Nigeria, um, the bus rapid transit system that was introduced with support from the World Bank um, is having a dramatic effect in reducing traffic congestion and reducing emissions uh, from polluting vehicles. The, the team that prepared the project undertook gender analysis, uh, consultations with met groups of men and women separately in the, in the design and the preparation of the program. They understood uh, that it's important to structure uh, bus stops in well-lit locations so as to reduce the potential for violence against women, for example, as they're waiting for bus at night. This is just one very small example of the kind of gender co-benefits that can come when you actually consult with women in the design of the program.